start with the Maguire clan. How many Maguires are there in Russia at the moment? Um, good question. I think too many to count. Um, I think at the moment that there's about five or six of them over here. Uh, but my friends keep popping over for each game, flying in and out. It's nice to have the support over here. They've supported me throughout my life, throughout my career, and I thank them for that. And your role and the weight of, of your kind of presence almost has grown and grown throughout the tournament to the point where Martin Keown called you a colossus in the match against Sweden. You know, your confidence in that short period of time just seems to have gone like that. Yeah, it's quite a crazy, it feels a long, long month or so. Um, probably the highest pressure game I've played in previous to the juniors is a League One playoff final. So the magnitude of the game has, has risen a bit. Um, I think the more games that you've played in each game, I feel like I can feel myself growing and my confidence growing too. So does it feel normal to walk out in an England kit and stand there and hear the anthem? Has that started to feel... It's starting to feel a lot more normal than it did, yeah, definitely. And then we get to a quarter-final where you don't just perform, you end up scoring a very, very important goal. Yeah, I think, like you said, it was a really important goal and in an important time of the match, um, we started a little bit nervy, a little bit edgy, and we get a set play, and we've, we've caused chaos uh, from set plays all tournament. And to be fair to Ashley Young and Kieran Trippier, the, the delivery has been brilliant. So Young did put in a great ball, and I got my eyes on it from the, from the get-go and, and managed to connect with it well and found the bottom corner. And it's headed firmly in! in the World Cup quarter-final. My first goal for England, great timing of it. Uh, it was a real surreal moment. I had to take a few deep breaths, just take a look round at the stage that I'm on. Two years ago, I'm playing in the Championship with Hull. You don't really look in two years' time and think you're going to be at a World Cup semi-final. Um, scoring in the quarter-final, uh, it's quite a surreal two years, a remarkable two years. So it's a great rise. It's something that I'm really proud of. Now, I don't think I'm the first person to talk to you about this or point it out, but obviously the size of your head has been uh, mentioned. Is this a family trait? Yeah, or... blame my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Any nicknames? Um, Vard's always called me Slabhead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not very complimentary, is it? But, no, um... <laughs> not really. I've got a few for him, but I'll keep him off camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this very strong Yorkshire presence in this squad, isn't there? We've had... Quite a few of the Yorkshire players in the chair chatting about that. Yeah, there's so many from Yorkshire. It's quite surreal if you look back at the squad. And I think mainly most of them are defenders. So it says something about Yorkshire. What does it say? But we're, we're not the most talented, but we're really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and is there still enough Yorkshire tea going around? Or are the tea bags running out now? Um, no, I think they, we've got a good supply of tea. If it, if it ran out, I'm sure there'd be a lot of unhappy players. So... It's on the fitness coaches to, to keep us up. One more week of tea and then you can go on to the stronger stuff. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>